All right, well, we, we just added these vectors graphically by, by drawing them to their proper lengths and adding them tip to tail, uh, and then drawing in our result and literally measuring both the length of our resultant vector and the angle at which it's pointed. What we're going to do now <clears throat> is find our resultant vector, adding those five vectors together um, analytically. And what that means is we're not going to sketch it out. So we don't need graph paper or protractors for this part. So, so for this, we're going to take our vectors and we're going to assign them x, well, y, and x directions. So everything that went north and south goes in the y column, and everything that went east and west goes into the x column. Um, things that are north are going to be positive. Things that are south are going to be negative. Things that are east are going to be positive in the x direction, and things that are west are going to be negative in the x direction. We get that. Uh, if we look at an x-y coordinate, this stuff is positive y, this stuff is neg negative y, and then this is positive x, and this is negative x. Now, if we, if we line up our compass directions along with that, we see that, for example, west is pointing in the negative x direction. So, if we take our, our four vectors again, um, under here, so if we take these four vectors, again, the first one was 20 centimeters north. Well, that goes in the y direction. And since it's north, it's going to be positive 20. The next one was 3.5 centimeters west. So because that's west, we're going to put it in the x direction. But because it's, again, west, we're going to have to make it negative. The next one is 5 centimeters south. So that goes over here in the y column. And since it's south, it's going to be negative. The next one is 7 centimeters east. Like it was in the x column, and that's going to stay positive because it's pointing in the east direction. And then finally, we end with 5 centimeters south, which goes in the y column and is going to be negative again. So now, what we're going to do is add all of these up and figure out how far we went in the y overall by adding them together. So, overall in the y, we went positive 10 centimeters, and overall in the x, we ended up going positive three point, sorry, positive three point five centimeters. That is our resultant displacement in the y direction and our resultant displacement in the x direction. Now that's not going to help us get our overall resultant displacement. So to get that, we're going to sketch our y displacement, which was ten centimeters north and our x displacement, which was 3.5 centimeters to the east. This obviously isn't to scale. Um, the reason we're doing this is so that we can see a little easier what our resultant vector looks like. This is going to be, again, our resultant vector. Now, we're doing this mathematically. We know that the north direction is at a right angle to the east direction, so we have a right triangle, and we know two of the sides, we're looking for the hypotenuse. So to solve for our resultant vector, we're going to use Pythagoras', Pythagoras theorem. So it's going to be 10 squared plus 3.5 squared. So calculating that out, we find our resultant vector to be 10.59 centimeters long. But just like before, we're not done. We have to find that angle. Now, to find that angle, we're not using a protractor because, again, I just guessed on the drawing we're going to use trigonometry. So, um, we know that the tangent of any angle is the side opposite of that angle over the side adjacent to that angle. Looking at the angle that we have here, the tangent of theta is equal to the opposite. So, if we go directly opposite of that, that's the 3.5 centimeter side divided by the adjacent side, so that's touching our angle, 10 centimeters. So if we put in our calculator um, to solve it, it's the inverse tangent of 3.5 centimeters divided by 10 centimeters. Uh, and our angle for this comes out to be. Um, as shown here, uh, 19.3 degrees. And looking at it, we start off north and we go east. 
So we move east of north. Um, so to report our total vector, it'd be 10.59 centimeters at 19.3 degrees east of north. And that would be our answer. Now, um, comparing that to what we got before, I'd say we were pretty close. We had 10.5 centimeters at 20 degrees east of north from our drawing. Um, but this offers a different way to do it and one that's well, and one that we're going to do more often. You're not always going to get a protractor and graph paper. So there you have it.